So I found this ferrorite just lying on the ground outside. That must be a sign we gotta go ferro riding. But that doesn't sound right. Ferroing? Hey honey, wanna go outside bushing? What? You wanna go outside and make a fire? Okay. Alright. Okay, well, Cat is going out for some firewood. I'm just gonna clear out the fireplace. You know, you wanna clear out the moss. You don't wanna burn the moss. You know? Try to preserve it. Damn. There's a lot of plants here. I got this uh, nice paper magazine from home. You know, just a regular nice paper. And uh, I think it should burn quite nicely with a fire steel. Are you serious? What? Is that my magazine? What do you mean? Show uh, it to me. I haven't even finished that, you bastard. Okay, so let's see if this works. I mean, uh, come on. Yeah. yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work, is it? Wait, how about? We try to do something like this, you know? Okay, let's, let's see what I have here. It's a lot of pieces. Uh, maybe too many. Okay, I just put them in your hand and just swirl them all around. Put this together. Okay, apparently, uh, paper is pretty bad. Well, we don't need paper anyway. Now, if you get lucky and you happen to find some birch trees, you can try to peel off some of this uh, birch bark. Um, so, don't try to cut it out, but, uh, you know, maybe just scrape it a little bit and try to collect these small fibers. Yeah, it's not coming off a lot, but, you know, just try to find some that peels off easily. Uh, and so the tree won't be harmed. Uh, here we found some uh, dried out grass. How about that? We'll try to set the fire with this grass. Looks pretty dry. It hasn't been raining, I think, for days, so... Well, if you have dry grass, that can help. If you come across to find a, a dead pine tree like this, you might be in luck to get some uh, fat wood. So this one's been dead for a while, and uh, right at these places where the branches uh, connect to the stump, to the bigger to the tree, you can find some fat wood. Let's see what we can get from this guy. I think there's maybe a little bit in the middle, but not too much. Ah, it does smell like fat wood. Try to go for this bigger branch right here. Oh yeah, that's a nice piece of fat wood right there. There's Scott waiting for me and the fat wood. Okay, how about this dried out moss thing? Uh, it's just a moss from the tree. Uh, let's see, does it want to catch fire better than the paper? Come on. No. 
I don't think so. No, it just it just smokes a little bit. Well, that didn't go too well, didn't it? I guess the fire still isn't that easy. But what about this grass I found? So I'll just take this little piece here. here we go. Okay. I don't think. What do we? What if we do this? Break that grass apart. Woo! Look at that. Let's get this crap out of the way. Let's see if we can get something out of this one. What the f Super tiny fibers. Nice, it fell apart. Great. Come on. There we go. That's how we can start a fire. So how about this birch bark I got while walking around? So mm, you can just, just see break a part of it and uh, let's start breaking apart. I think the breaking apart thing uh, work with the grass. So I might work with this one. See one of these tiny pieces and uh, I got these, these scrapings in my back. Uh, let's just see. It's almost like dust, but the dust has some uh, oils in there. Let's see how it goes, okay? Now, where's my stick? Actually, that metal piece uh, kind of starts to wear off. I'm not sure if it's that good. I'd, I'll just try with my knife. Uh, actually, no. Actually, a knife is too big. Kind of messes all around. Okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just try with this mm, tiny metal piece here again. Oh, there we go. So birch bark wor works quite well too. Oh, there it goes. If you can find some birch bark uh, and where you're trying to make a fire, it's probably the best choice out there. Well, why not? Anyway. All right. So how about we just go crazy? Let's just put that crappy paper there, some birch bark shavings, some fat wood, bigger birch bark shavings. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, some more birch bark. Let's get that. Let's get. Let's get that grass. That dried grass. Dried grass just, man, just set a fire so fast. Okay, let's just. Oh yeah, that that grass is so dry. It's just no wonder it just goes a fire like instantly. Okay, let's fluff this up. Where's our, where's that, where's that steel? Where's that fire steel? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I mean, if this doesn't set a fire. Oh, actually, actually it caught fire and I, I kind of extinguished it. Go again. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get these branches ready. We can start put carefully. Always get your smaller branches ready when this catches fire. Some more birch bark on. 
I mean, this is a sure thing right now. Oh yeah. There we go. Sad. Oh no, come on. The sad sausage you got there. Wait, 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 wait. What's a uh, weird angle you have to put this one on? You're fishing for the Egg. fire. <laughs> fishing for sausages. Yeah. Don't forget to put out the fire. You wanna drown it. Um, like I'm doing it with my fire bottle. And be sure to just mix that sand together with water. And uh, put on the vegetation back on, you know? Don't wanna leave a footprint. And don't forget to subscribe.